Ogu and uh, Mama Ogu. The first person I met when I arrived in Shanghai actually was uh, the wife uh, to the city of Nigeria. Um, so yeah, I won't explain where and why and how. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so she's the first person that yeah I got to to, to be with uh, in my first week. And I would like to also greet um, all members of the diplomatic community that are here, OCGs, and they are all the consulates present, representatives of CCPIT, I had the way to earlier, and of course, uh, Mr. Adam <coughs> Chen, the Department of Commerce uh, representative um, from Zhejiang province, whose literally every week, reminding me how I sometimes miss South African food and the scenery and everything, because he lives there, uh, and uh, representing the province. is actually a, a representative for Africa, for the Nigerian province, but based in South Africa. I think it's a year now. And I would like to greet I see my doctor is here. <laughs> and everybody else, uh, if I didn't mention you specifically, please uh, uh, receive my greetings. Um, I will just take probably less than a minute just to appreciate um, how as a consulate we relate with the consulate of Nigeria for obvious reasons. We are all from Africa. Um, we are key economies in Africa. I think most of you know. Uh, key in our own special ways because we must not forget that the entire province of Kwando is almost the uh, same as Nigeria. So I think we know how much, like two, over 200 uh, million. So that's, that's how big Nigeria is. So, um, and being two key economies, um, I was, I'm going to personalize my remarks. Uh, not speech, even previous speech. Because um, the way we relate as the two countries in Africa, um, not only with him, when I arrived here, I felt like Shanghai is home, away from home, because of how I was received. He's obviously amongst the first CGs that I paid my courtesy call, and we have related well since. I would contact for advice where necessary. And CG, I would like to appreciate, and I hope that uh, wherever you are going, you are going into, uh, together with your family, and everything must please go well with you. And you have been quite great, um, and your humble family. Um, I personally uh, cherish. Um, the moment that we had, both as consulates uh, and how we continue to relate as African countries away from oil. So I don't have a lot of words, cannot be speech. So I'm just here to appreciate, uh, like I said, I was going to personalize it. I'm just here to appreciate and to say that uh, you must keep up the good job. You have done great. Uh, I think your work speaks for, for itself. Um, part of the things he did when I arrived was to also share the work that China is doing with Africa. And then so that, you know, I don't start afresh from where, wherever uh, the previous city was doing of South Africa, but we had to share notes. We share notes quite a lot of times um, on interventions, uh, forums between China and Africa, and he was quite helpful. So I'm just saying to all of you who are from the same continent, same regions, don't 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 undermine those relations when when you are here and you are away from home. They are really helpful. So you just feel home away from home. Uh, without wasting any time, uh, I wish you all the best, Maoku, CG. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, it's my honor to be here to wish my good friend, my boss, as I call him every time. My name is Kay Gebra. I am the CEO of Golden Consulting. I have the honor and pleasure of meeting His Excellency 
um, about three and a half years ago, or two, two and a half years ago, uh, when he arrived in Shanghai, uh, a lot of people actually called me that CG wanted to, you know, to meet with you and say, where are you? You need to meet with CG. And immediately I returned back to Shanghai. I went right to his office to meet with him. Um, the spirit that he has, uh, the spirit of working and getting things done. I have, um, I have been engaging with the Nigerian consulate in Shanghai for over uh, six years now. And when he arrived, he immediately put out the call and I sat down with him and we discussed. I find something very special about, about him. He has the, the zeal and the energy uh, to want to put people together and also to work between China and, uh, and Africa. Not just Nigeria only. Uh, he has been working day and night to make sure that uh, things works out uh, very well. When I was in the U.S. Uh, just about two weeks ago, I received a letter from the secretary uh, telling me I was planning when I return. There is a lot of stuff that we're going to be talking about. But I received a letter from his secretary that the CG time uh, has ended and he will be returning back to Nigeria. I immediately uh, called him and we made a joke. I said, uh, wherever they are sending you, please tell them to put my name in the envelope <laughs> so we can at least uh, go together. Um, Mr. CG, I thank you so much for all the hard work and everything that you have been doing for Nigeria and representing the entire continent. Um, we need, uh, as, as an African, as a black person, we need representatives that not just speaks for one country, but speaks for the entire continent. And I am happy to meet CG, who actually have that voice and have tried numbers of times. Uh, the times that I have met with him at the consulate, I see what he has done to bring people together, to bring his people together. Uh, engaging with the student, with the Nigerian student with, that are here in China, engaging with different authorities uh, to make sure that you know there is a peaceful uh, relationship between uh, both countries. Um, as you are departing, Your Excellency, I wish you good luck, and um, I pray that you know you continue doing the work that you are doing. Uh, like I said again, I am here for you. You know my number. We can always stay in touch, and um, I I hope that you know we will continue to have more people like you to continue to do the good work that you're doing. Uh, last but not the least, I want to tell uh, to thank Mr. Ho, uh, Touch Road for all the work that you have been doing with Africa as well. I have met Mr. Ho a number of times, a lot of time actually. Every time I put a call to him and I say let's meet, he always try to figure some time for us to sit down and talk, uh, because I'm also engaged with a lot of stuff, and he has uh, upper hand here in, uh, in China and in Georgia, and every time I put a call to him, he's always there uh, you know, to, to answer the call. So thank you so much uh, for putting things, uh, this together. We appreciate you. Uh, Your Excellency, again, I want to thank you for all the good work you have been doing. I pray that you continue to do the work, and let me not forget the uh, they said behind every successful man, there is a powerful woman behind. So let's also congratulate the wife uh, for, 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 for keeping our Oga, you know, <laughs> healthy and looking young and looking good. So thank you, Matt, for all the work you have been doing. I appreciate you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> um, my colleagues, Council Generals, um, all representatives of uh, uh, consulate missions here in Shanghai, good evening all. Before I proceed to make this more, I want us, all of us to stand just some seconds to pay respect to those who lost their life in the terrorist attack in Moscow, as well as 
the ongoing, ongoing war between Russia and Kim. Those that have lost their lives. I believe that this great country, China, can bring peace between Russia and uh, Ukraine. Let's all stand for some minutes of silence. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Hugh that uh, conveyed this dinner in my honor. Not only my honor, but my family. I want to appreciate you. Um, I'm very, very you know, glad and delighted that you said that uh, Nigeria made you who you are, you started a business in Nigeria. And uh, I will go back and testify that yes, you still recognize the Nigeria place in your heart. Thank you very much. And my friends, uh, colleagues, CJs, that, you know, in the short notice, they put out these invitations, you were able to make it, and uh, uh, left your various busy tight schedules and engaging to be with me. Uh, as I think you are my host. Um, quickly, I want to speak to my wife here, who has been very, very supportive to me uh, in this world. All of us know the world is very challenging for us diplomats. And if you don't have a very peaceful home, uh, it can affect your work. And I thank you for calling my staff who are here with us. Um, it's been a wonderful uh, three years now in this uh, great city. Um, the first half of the three years was very challenging for us now uh, with the COVID pandemic issue. But when uh, the tides came down and the borders were open, I have already run half my ten. So that's was kind of a challenge to me to double my effort to cover the remaining of the days. That led me to put my cap on my head and my shoes running. Because if you know, this is a great country with opportunities. And my coming from Nigeria, Africa, um, is a, a kind of a opportunity for me how to leverage the opportunities there and present my people, my country, in terms of uh, being accepted into this great country. That's really took much of my time. I was on traveling uh, with uh, the, some of the cities we despite we meet on many occasions, attending to the needs and welfare of my people. To up up the image so that they could be accepted in this great country. Um, China has been a, a very great country, I would say, uh, without missing ways, yes. And my family will have enjoyed every bit of our stay here in uh, Shanghai. Uh, we blend a lot, we all do agree with me, and diplomats, we are all students anywhere we go. We've learned a lot, it the good, the best experiences. If there's any bad one, we are leaving it behind and moving forward. Uh, but there's no any bad experience we have had here. And uh, I want to say that Dr. Who touched on you again, you know, affecting Africa as a continent positively. We have seen what he's doing in In fact, when I arrived here, he's the first person I met. And uh, he's the one that vetted and proof of where I chose as president. Since then, he was reaching out to me. In many ways, we've been working together to promote uh, mutual joint work in lifting Nigeria, Africa, in the face of uh, China. Uh, without much uh, talk, because
thing that for us to come and eat. I want to thank everybody that made it this evening. And uh, Dr. Pugh, you, your staff in Touch Room Group that put this event on my behalf. Thank you very much.